Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. And thank you everyone for all of the support that you show me on Facebook in the junk journal groups. And thank you so much for all of the support you show me here on YouTube. So today I want to look at these cute little tea bag junk journal inserts. I was on Pinterest and I saw something created by Connie Fister and it was a tea bag card and um, the the one half of the when you open it up one half had uh, a section where you can do your greeting and then the other half had an actual tea bag and I think maybe a sweetener and there was a belly band that that held in held it in place so when you opened it up that's what you saw I like the idea but um, I wanted to go in a different direction um, those of you who have been viewing my channel, you know, I, I try to build on another person's ideas. Um, so um, when I went to Connie's site, it was in German. <laughs> so I used the uh, Google translation, but it, it didn't matter because the measurements that Connie used were, it, they were in centimeters. Um, and uh, it was an elongated uh, version of the of the card. I wanted something shorter, so I had to figure out my own uh, inches. But here's, I did two versions. This is the first version, and this is the second version uh, um, where I did a few more enhancements. So the first version, we have a little note pad on one side. We have a journaling card, and we also have a a tag and then let me put this away so that's the front and that's the back and then you know it has like the little tag that a tea bag would have then there's this one where I did a little bit more so we have the uh, the notepad here and um, we have this uh, interactive flap um, there's some vellum here and uh, a journaling card and then over here, if you pull this out, we have a specimen slide. You can do a little journaling on the back and then we have um, a tag. And on the back, you can do some more journaling. And then, you know, the notepad, of course, you can do some journaling. And then I did a little mini envelope. Let's see what's in the envelope. So inside the envelope, we have some tags. This is a cute one. Top value friends retain this stub. And then we also have another specimen slide, specimen slide. And you can do some journaling on the back. And let me set these to the side over here. And then I put in another journaling card. So here's what the uh, the front and the back, what that looks like, and then the little tag. Um, so let me take you through the steps on how I put my version of this together. Um, I'll just give you a, like the skeleton of it because you may not want to do uh, all of the kinds of things that I did. I have placed the link to Connie's site in the description area. So... I started out with a card that is eight and a half by three inches. And then what you're going to do is on the three inch side, take your scoring tool, put a little notch at the one and a half mark. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold and then you'll do your, uh, you know, your, use your bone folder tool to flatten that out. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is, um, well, as you see here, I've, I've gotten everything all distressed. So do your distressing, make sure you do your distressing. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to take this point and you're going to bring it down to the edge here. So let's do that. 
um, to keep things in place a little bit, you might want to use um, a little bit of glue. Sometimes things, they slide a little bit over. So you might want to put just a little bit of glue there. Don't put it too far down, maybe about a fourth of an inch down. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this point down to this edge right here. And then you'll fold it down, fold it down. And now what you're going to do is get your string. And if the length to you matters, here's the length that I use. It's uh, about eight inches. And what you're going to do is take your string, get that as centered as possible. Then you're going to get your stapler. And you're not going to push the staple all the way in. You'll go in maybe about, oh, about an eighth of an inch, not too far down. And, and uh, you'll see why later. So let me try to get this as centered as possible. And remembering not to go all the way down. So. I'm going to try to stay on the edge as much as possible, along the edge as much as possible. Uh, let's see, that's close to the center. In our world, junk journaling, we know it doesn't have to be perfect. I almost forgot to tell you to tie the string by the staple as seen in the samples I provided. Okay, so do you see here where my staple is a little bit on an angle? That's okay. Um, when you uh, fold this card back, turn this over, fold it back, and then you want the edge of your paper to align with the lowest part of your staple, if you, in case you were on an angle like mine. So you're going to go right below the lowest part of your staple. And make sure that your sides are in alignment. Make sure everything is in alignment. And then let's give it a crease. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to carefully cut out uh, this extra piece on this side and this extra piece on this side. I'm going to be careful not to cut the part that was folded. It's just a guide. And then I've lost some of my ink since I've done some cutting. So I'm going to re-ink that a little bit. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'll get this inked up in the center. And now what I'm going to do is, where I've done that fold, um, I'm just gonna line it up at the six inch mark. And what I'm going to do from the six inch mark, I'm going to go over to the right five eighths of an inch. So I'm at six and five eighths. And I'm going to score. And then I want to move to the left, uh, five eighths of an inch. So that will put me at uh, five and three eighths. Okay. So now I'm not going to crease these down too, uh, too hard just yet. I just want to uh, ensure that uh, everything is going to line up okay before I solidify those creases. Now you see why it was important not to staple too far down so that you can get that nice tuck underneath. Okay, so I've got my tuck underneath. Everything looks, it looks okay. So now I'm a little bit more uh, confident in uh, creasing things down. And then you would do your distressing, 
you know, on different sides, get your distressing done. Okay, now for the version that I did, remember I did a, uh, I did a flap here. So let me give you the inches on that. That is three and a half by, let me use this side, can you see that a little bit better? Two and a half. And then I scored here at a half inch, and then I did my angle cuts, okay? And then that, I'm not gonna rest it on the, on the score line. Let me stress that so you can see the score line a little bit better. So I'm not going to I'm not going to rest this right next to the score line. I did the measurements the way that I did so I can uh, kind of be between these two areas here, the score line and where this begins to angle. And the reason why I did that is so that what you would glue this down like this. The reason why I did that is so that when this card folds up, nothing is blocking it here, okay? And then, you've seen me do this in another video, but in case you wanted the dimensions for the notepad, they are two and seven eighths by two and a half. And then I have another, another sheet of paper that is, let's see, this is two and a half by one, a little bit more than a one and a half, almost about one and five eighths. And then what I did was I scored, I turned the, I uh, turned it, and then I scored at the half inch mark. And I scored at the half inch mark because I'm going to use that, you know, I'm going to glue all of the pages together a little bit at the top, one on top of each other. You've seen me do this in, in other videos and in another video. And then I'm going to glue this on the front and glue on the back. And this is how you make the notepad. And then you're going to um, glue this down along the edge here. And again, not touching that fold. And then you'll put the notepad on top of it so that the uh, this can't be seen. And that all gets glued down together. And then you have that flap, okay? And then let me give you the measurements for uh, the outer card. The outer card measures, the outer card measures, I've got two and seven eighths here that way by, this is two and a half, and that is the, uh, that's the front cover and the back cover. Now, uh, the measurements for this, this was really simple. This is two inches by one inch, and then I scored uh, along the inch, the one inch uh, marker, and then did my distressing, and then you're just going to glue that down. And then how you decorate the rest of your book, I'll leave that to your imagination. So uh, one last thing that I'd like to show you is if you like the papers that, uh, that were used to create uh, these little uh, tea bag junk journal inserts, um, the paper is in my uh, Etsy store. It's called Bloomed Roses and Postcards, thus roses and postcards. <laughs> so here's uh, one sheet. Here are some tags I'll take you through quickly. Here's another sheet. And another. Here are some postcards. Some uh, backing paper or journaling paper an envelope and uh, another backing sheet. So I hope that you enjoyed today's 
tutorial. And if you did, please hit the like button, please share, and please subscribe. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.